Well, hello, I am back. I'm your host, Katherine Kirby, for The Creative View. This is going to be a knitting podcast today. There is a separate crocheting podcast. I have a lot to show you today. Um, knitting Fever has graciously sent me a large box of their new fall yarns, and I'll be showing you those and some things knitted with those. And I have prize giveaways. So yay, a lot of you have subscribed and I thank you. If you haven't subscribed, would you please subscribe? Hit the little bell and you'll get a notification of when there's a new podcast. I'm here to excite you, enthrall you, get you excited. If you're a new knitter, to help you get going. If you haven't started knitting yet, to get you excited. And if you're an established knitter, to challenge you. So that is one of the things I love about the fiber arts is that you can never exhaust them. There's always something new, a new way to do it, a new way to think it. And it is good to train yourself to think outside of the box. I remember the Little Mermaid movie when she's down under the sea and she sees all these artifacts from human life and she doesn't know what a fork is, you know. Little kids are like that. I love to be around little kids because they don't know what any of this stuff is. And they can come up with imaginative ways to use like common household objects. It's pretty neat to be involved in a child's life. So, talking about children, I got a new grand dog, a grand pup, and I'm really excited. I have a bunch of grand dogs. I love them all. They're members of the family. And my daughter's family shocked me by getting a dog because I had no idea that they were even thinking about a puppy. Neither did their children, so they were super, super excited. So that's Tobin, who's been here at the yarn shop many times. He is four, soon to be five, and that is his new puppy, Dawkins, and it is a French tin, a French bulldog, and an English, um, a French bulldog, and a Boston Terrier. There we go. Isn't he cute? Just eight weeks old. <laughs> so, I can't wait to spend some time with him. Hopefully when they go on vacation, I'll be the doggy sitter. So I have a lot of time here at the shop, a lot of time when customers don't come in. I'm knitting samples. Of course, I have Ellie here with me, my Cocker Spaniel. And, but I still have a lot of downtime and I'll put YouTube videos on. And I chanced upon this show called Miracles Animals or Miracles Dogs, whatever. And I saw this video that just was amazing. It was about this older couple that had a dog. I think the dog was retired because it had been trained how to rescue people from dangerous situations and medium sized dog. But their daughter wanted a pig. The pet pigs were all the rage and you know, they get big. My brother has one and he's, he's a big pig and, um, so they got her this pig, Lulu, for her 40th birthday. I think the pig's name was Lulu. I might be wrong. And they would pig sit. And eventually the pig got attached to them and they kept the pig. So they went on a camping trip and they were staying in a trailer. And the man got up early, 5 o'clock to go fishing. And the woman got up around 7.30 to make breakfast. And she got hit with crushing chest pain that just sent her on the floor, writhing in pain, screaming for help. And they were by a road, a common road that everybody in that, I guess, trailer park used. But nobody could hear her. And the dog just sat back on the bed and just barked nonstop, but didn't get up, didn't go out the doggy door, didn't go for help, nothing. And um, she found an object and threw it at the window and broke the window, but still no help. And she was worried she was going to die. And so the pig, I think Lulu, came over and is like on her face looking down at her with all concern. Goes out the pet door, 
goes out to the road and plays dead piggy, trying to get attention, right? So, car comes by, ignores her. She goes back in through the pet door, checks on her owner, goes back out, sprawls across the road, plays dead piggy, car ignores her, comes back in. She did this over and over and over. Every time she did it, she scraped her back raw on the piggy door, and I think her, her belly, but she just wouldn't give up. Finally, she went out to the road, played, played dead piggy, and this man stopped, and as he leaned over to touch her, she suddenly springs to life and trots into the trailer, and he's banging on the door, saying, hello, your pig is in distress, and she's yelling, no, I am in distress. Pig saved her life. He's, they said everybody that knew them couldn't believe that the pig put this together to do this. Meanwhile, the dog that was trained to rescue did nothing but sit on the couch and bark, 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 bark. So really, really a neat story. Everybody I tell it to, it just makes them happy. Okay, so should we get on with it? Usually I share a snafu. I've had a lot of snafus. My husband had his 70th bir 74th birthday. And I called one of the local grocery stores, asked if they had ice cream cake. Yes, we do. Told me where they are. I went there and the boxes weren't marked. Just these rectangular boxes, frozen white ice cream. Okay. I call back to the bakery just to make sure no one is there. Cake is $32. I figured, well, okay, it's pretty big. Unknown to him, I invited friends over. When I go to cut the cake, it's, it's like a rock. Not only that, it's not ice cream cake. It's cake. One of the ladies at the party, Diana said, Catherine, that's a Mexican, um, like a milk cake, a Mexican. So nobody could eat it. And when it finally thawed out, everybody was gone and the next day it was just a soppy sugary mess that wasn't the only thing i ordered him some what i thought were really neat birthday gifts spent some money and they didn't come now it's in paypal dispute and it gets better we love to watch the canadian show heartland right so season 12 i saw a dvd on ebay Man, I can get this DVD from Canada, $34.99. We can binge watch it, right? I get the disc. He's happy. I put the disc in, and it says, not approved for your area, right? I go back, read the eBay ad, and it says, <laughs> for Region 4, which is Australia. I mean, it clearly said it. It not only said it, it explained it. I just didn't see it. And then the other thing was, I got him a game, which is supposed to be the 14th most popular game, I think, worldwide. And um, Castles of Burgundy, he doesn't like it. Anyway, I will try again. But, you know, I've been dabbling at designing. This is not my design. This is definitely diagonal. I may have it on Inside Out by Krista Basta. I really like her things. When it's blocked, I think you'll see the diagonal effect a lot more. And this was done with online Arona, which looks like this. Two skeins. I really like the way it feels. Now, I like working with these flat yarns. They're fun. And I really had fun doing it. And I would like to do it again in some other colors. So I'm not going to show you a lot of my things today because I want to get on to all the wonderful Knitting Fever. The Knitting Fever does sell this yarn. I think I also showed you that we were making market bags and things out of Queensland Cairns yarns, Cairns, and 
All the Queensland yarns, I have to tell you, I saw a really good movie. I was almost finished it, and I started over, I said to my husband, Paul, you have to come watch this movie with me. We haven't seen a good comedy in a long time. It's called Charlie and Boots. It's with Paul um, from Crocodile Dundee. Remember him? And we loved it. And I got to see as they got, went through all the towns in Australia, all these towns that the Queensland Yarns are named after, Cairns. So I think I had shown you the Glorious Day Scarf. And then I was working on the little, it's called Last Minute Baby Gift. Because I had yarn left over, so I got the buttons on. And other people have been making market bags. There's a pattern called Market Square. You have to purchase the pattern. And people did it with um, different colors. You can do it with like the same color, two different colors. One of the ladies had some yarn left over, so she did three different colors. And let me find my photos here and show you. And while I'm looking, another movie that I saw it was not a comedy, but I would highly recommend it. We watched these through Amazon Prime, was Rumor of Angels. Vanessa Redgrave, really, really good movie. I know I showed you the Vare Isle cow that we did. Beth, Rudy that comes in here did the hat. That was also done out of Knitting Fever yarns. And she did a second one. They were done out of Creative and Viking Aurora, but look how pretty. And that pattern is available on Ravelry. Holly, who I've shown you her and her dog, Cody, did a Princess Leah hat. I think it's called Space Cadet. So isn't that cute? And... Okay, where's my pictures? That's looking for the market bag. Here we go. That was Beth Rudy's bag. She decided to do the Queensland Cairns and the Ella Ray Phoenix. So the Phoenix is the dark purple and the green is the Cairns. It's a slip stitch pattern and it really turns out great. And because she used the cotton it was looser, floppier. I think it would hold more. It wasn't as stiff, but I mean, two different, two different looks, right? And then I think I have another one to show you, maybe. That was Bonnie's. Bonnie used three different colors, and it's a neat pattern. Everybody that's doing it is having fun. So, my snafu. And before I show you that, Holly was making a market bag out of Babe Soft Cotton Worsted. One skein. I'll have to share the pattern with you. I'm not sure, but she liked it so much. She made a bunch of them. This was a free pattern. You do the bottom. And then it looks like you do maybe yarn over knit two togethers. And I think it would have a lot of expansion, right? And she's been making a lot of these for gifts. So, as you know, I've been working on doing some designing. This is a yarn called Viking Odin. All the pretty colors. I don't think I had any idea just how pretty these colors are, were going to be. Blues don't show up very well. This is actually beautiful, like turquoise colors. On the needles, it can be very confusing because the pattern, you couldn't see the peak, <laughs> was stretched out on my needles like this. I mean, it was big. Somehow, you get kind of fooled into thinking that that's going to be your bottom. 
I had put some like bling yarn in in the beginning and then it sat in my closet for a couple years and I pulled it out and I couldn't find that yarn but I thought you know what somehow I'll mix it in and figure it out. Last night around midnight I am trying to find this off. I had saved plenty of yarn and it just wasn't working out. It was curling. I tried different bind offs. My yarn started knitting and we had been at an Italian restaurant in town that we really love earlier and as we were leaving the owner Tony says are you sure you don't want to take some cones home well yeah <laughs> he makes these delicious they almost look like an ice cream cone they're wrapped and they're full of this delicious homemade filling right so like one o'clock at night, I'm creeping down the steps. Catherine is going down to get a cone. I make hot tea, right? I go upstairs, of course, Ellie is at my heels. I open up the styrofoam container and there's the rest of Paul's dinner. Red sauce, barbecue sauce. No, where's the cones? I think he left them at the restaurant. So I finally just bound it off and I made a mistake not realizing that this is was going to get the dreaded stockinette curl. And I mean, I can picture myself wearing this this winter, maybe even with, you know, a belt where it almost looks like a sweater and I have to block it, but this problem. So I decided to do a crochet edging. It's now like 1.30. And if you just do a single crochet in the back loop, it does look pretty, but it doesn't take care of the curl. And now, <clears throat> halfway through, I'm out of yarn. So, to be continued. <clears throat> to be continued. Goodness sakes. <clears throat> so, designing isn't as easy as it looks. I also wanted to show you something that a customer made me. She loves to make sweaters. <clears throat> Her name is Sandy James. This is Cotton Yak. <clears throat> and she found a pattern on, I think the magazine Knit Simple that she really liked. And she was making them for people in her family. And she asked me, do you want me to make one for you? And I'm like, are you serious? She's like, yes. Look at that neat seaming at the top. So, there it is. I can't wait to wear it when it gets cooler. And I'm so thankful. Thank you, Sandy. What a nice, nice thing to do for me. Wow. So, on with the show. These are the new fall yarns coming out for Knitting Fever. And as the viewer, you may be able to get some of these yarns because I am going to do two giveaways of podcasts until they're all gone. Some of these patterns are from the New Noro magazine and some of them are off the Knitting Fever website. Um, so let's go ahead and do the show. So, in the magazine, the magazine sells for $9.99, which is a bargain, right? A huge bargain. And they have a new yarn that is nubby, kind of like a boucle yarn. And I'm going to show you that. That is called Kanzashi, and all of the Noro names mean something. And let's see if I can figure that out while we are talking. So I had an unfortunate incident the other day. I usually don't bring food to the yarn shop because it seems like the moment you break food out, even though you haven't been busy all day, a customer comes. And my husband's been getting these 
salads in a bag which are super fresh and they're only good for a few days and I decided I would bring a bowl in so Ellie loves a salad right and so I dumped the salad in the bag and we had let it go past its date and we had let air get in and it was just not good it was kind of slimy and then boom a customer come so I take this bowl fill with this not so good salad and I take it back in the little employee room which has a microwave and when I sit it on top of the microwave and I have this customer right behind me I think it's secure I think yep it's good it's not gonna fall off and I walk away and I hear bang all that salad all those gazillion pieces of salad went all over everything all storage areas yarn projects and my sweet husband well if I ever doubt that he loves me he came in and offered to clean all that up for me what do you think about that what a guy okay so the long vests are coming in style and if you're short you might have to make it shorter you know I'm short and I know you know I don't want something down to my ankle but let me show you here so there's the pattern I always love Nora Fever's backdrops and here is the beautiful sample. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I'm even thinking this would be a nice blanket. You can tell, you can tell I'm comfort driven. But isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And this is the yarn. There it is, in some of their bright colors. And let me see what I can tell you about it. 30% mohair, 30% silk, 23% wool, 14% rayon, 232 yards, retails for $49.99. Kanazi, I'll see if I can find out what that, what that name means. Kansazi. I don't even think I'm saying it right. Kansazi. Okay. There's a few other things in the book that I wanted to show you. This is one. It's a wrap. And that is also done with that yarn plus Baki. And I'll tell you, oh, it is soft. I'll tell you what is going to be popular this year are wool yarns. Not, not super wash, but wool yarns. The authentic thing. Don't you love the earthy colors? Wow. And again, I don't want to just wear this. I want to take it to bed and wrap up in it. Wow. So, Baki, wow, that you would really be warm in. Okay, so let's see what else they sent me. I carry a yarn called Unique. They're coming out with the Unique Sport. Isn't that pretty? Look at all those colors. And... 350 yards for $18. They have a pattern called the Veronica Shawl. And I love this. Oh my goodness. I wish I could keep it, but I have to send it back. Light and airy and drapey. And that can be purchased through Knitting Fever, through your local yarn store nice and soft oh this is a merino acrylic blend sport weight or dk okay 
now I'll be careful to try to not rattle all these bags because I'm amazed when other podcasters do it, how noisy it is. <laughs> this is another Noro yarn. Look at these colors. Let's see. I think we're going this way. Just a big, beautiful wrap. And it's it's nice. It feels good. This is also off there, out of their Nora magazine. Let me find it for you. Here we go. One look, three ways. So a scarf. A shawl, almost kind of like a sweater. I'm not sure what you call that. And cabled fringe rectangle. What can you do with it? Quite a lot. And that yarn is called, that's Baki again. That's the same yarn as the previous, but in very bright colors. And... Baki's 100% wool. It's chunky. You get 264 yards for about $46.50. There you go. Here I'm disappearing into the box. And that is Baki. And that will be a giveaway too. Okay, next. Oh, this, I showed this to the ladies who came in to knit, and this was one of their favorite things. This is a snood, which can be a scarf. It can be like a, a hooded scarf, but I don't see why you couldn't wear it the way the previous, like straight down or even with a belt. But look at all the designs in this. Look at this. Wow, is that amazing or what? So it has buttons and this is done with Santa Cruz. The pattern is by Claudia Worshing and Santa Cruz is a new Juniper Moon yarn and it's organic wool. Finest organic merino humanly grown in Argentina. These are two of the colors. I don't know if you can see all the different tones in there. And this is 191 yards retail for $15. Nice. So yeah, this, I mean, this would take some time, but oh my goodness, what a beautiful project. Isn't this fun? It, I couldn't wait for this big box to come. I knew it was coming <laughs> when the FedEx man came. Ellie's jumping up and down because he gives her biscuits. I'm like just about jumping up and down. I can't wait for him to leave so I can open the box and see what's in here. This is Liliana Poncho and it's a new yarn called Cooney. Cooney is a Mirasol yarn. And here we go. And this is 100% wool, 219 yards. And it feels nice. One of the benefits of 100% wool, not machine washable, it's not treated, it doesn't grow. Because superwash wool can grow, it's treated, it, it spreads. This feels really, really nice. And I'm looking to see if I wrote down any other information on it. And I'm not sure that I did. But it's really nice. This is a poncho with definitely a unique design. We had a little fun with it the other day. Your 
over your head is on the side. People were disagreeing about how this is worn. When you do that, it gives it a little bit of a diagonal slope at the bottom. Look at this beautiful pattern. There you go. And you know, when you see a pattern you like, you don't have to limit it to that project. You can use it for other things. I do it all the time. It's that designer in you that says, oh, well, maybe I don't want to make the poncho, but I like that pattern. I could do a hat, scarf, whatever. Okay, onward. If you love metallic yarns, Louisa Harding has a new yarn called Skintill. Comes in a nice puffy ball. It is 49% acrylic, 39 polyester metallic, and 12% wool, 251 yards for retail of $13. And this is like a little, like a little ponchette, they kind of call it. And that is also one of their patterns that you can get through your yarn shop or online. Okay, isn't this fun? Wow, isn't this fun? The sad, sad, sad part will be when I have to mail it back. So if you've been a fan of Debbie Bliss Baby Cashmerino, and then when Debbie Bliss was discontinued, Ella Ray brought out their own um, Cashmerino. Now they have Ella Ray Cashmerino Sport Speckle. And this is soft. And wait till you see this blanket. Wow, isn't this gorgeous? Oh, it feels really, really nice. When the ladies that come in to knit saw this, oh, they were gaga over it. It's beautiful. Man, what a heirloom that would be, right? I'm probably being noisy here rattling the bag. I held this up and I said, okay, ladies, what do you think this is? And people thought maybe it was a skirt and it could be, but it actually looks just really cute draped over your shoulders like a little capelet and it's comfortable. I could see somebody at work having their arms free or driving. It's nice and soft. And this is a new yarn called oh there's another skein of Huni from the poncho this is Huasco Aaron and it's hand painted comes in all these luscious colors you get 196 yards superwash merino wool and 25% Polyamide. You could do socks if you wanted to. And here's the product. It's really nice. Go to knittingfever.com website and look at their yarns and look at the patterns and the models and see how cute this looks on. I think it's clever. Okay, we still have a few more things. I'm trying to be quiet like I did last night when I snuck downstairs to get that dessert that wasn't there. This is really, really nice. Do you see the anchor and the stars? Beautiful sweater. Wow. Gorgeous. This is a yarn called Drover. My husband and I used to watch this Australian um, show called Drover's, no, it was called McLeod's Daughters, but they lived on a ranch called Drover's Run. Drover, of course, a, a place in um, Australia. This is a merino silk and wool. Really, really pretty. 330 yards, DK weight, 
50% merino lambs wool, 25% silk, 25% nylon, retails for $15. It's, uh, it's nice. And this is their sweater sample. Oh my goodness, I wish I could get something like this knitted up for my husband. After all those birthday gifts I got him, which materialized into like nothing, um, I have to somehow try to make that up to him. Okay, are you having fun? I think I have two more things to show you. One is a sweater which actually is very lightweight. Uh, all the ladies did just, ah, oh, that's so nice. Oh, I wish I could take that home. That feels so good. It's so lightweight. Um, Knitting Fever has a new designer called Jody Long. This is one of his designs. And this is called Butte out of the Seaford book. And this is a new yarn called Alba. Merino and Alpaca Luxury Tweed Blend. Look at those gorgeous colors. Wow. You get 382 yards. That's really nice. That retails for $18. Wow. That has to be one of my favorite. Whew. Okay. And I think we're down to the last thing. But it's been really fun, hasn't it? And to enter the contest to get two of the yarns, the two that I'll give away um, this week will be um, this one and then both of his... Yeah, I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it, which this is. So someone will get these and someone will get this. So to enter, subscribe to my channel and add a message. Just say yes. Just yes. Yeah, all you have to say is yes. And I'll know. And then we'll have a random generator and everybody will be assigned a number and we'll go from there. This thing is gorgeous. This is another Jody Long design and this is with the KO. It's a very extra fine merino superwash wool made in Italy. It feels so soft. Look at the beautiful stitch definition on that. So this is a cardigan with a shawl collar. There's the collar. And it is gorgeous. And I love the collar too. So I'm looking up. Oh, I think I miss one thing here. The Queenland Walkabout Organic Shetland Wool. You know, it's not easy to be qualified as organic. It takes a lot of work to have your yarn qualify as organic. And the project that I miss is a Fair Isle vest. And while I'm rooting and probably making a lot of noise here, let me just see here. All these beautiful projects one by one. Here we go. Next, I will fall into the box. <laughs> oh. There we go. Isn't that nice? Wow. That's really pretty. Winter garden vest. Walkabout colors. Gorgeous. So, I think... That's probably it. I'll catch you again in a week or two. And at that time, I will announce the prize winners. So I hope you had fun because I did. It's so fun to see a fall preview. 
And if you have any questions, send them to me. And I'm always glad to talk to you here at Creative View Yarns. I'm in uh, McSherrystown, Pennsylvania. You can find me on Facebook. I would love to have you call the shop and chat with me. 717-634-2416. I don't have a website. I'm trying. But I would be glad to talk to you or help you with any questions at all. So go out there and have a great day. Don't let anyone steal your joy, right? Shine, baby, shine. Signing out, Katherine Kirby. Catch you next time.